If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to the road to glory. I appreciate your support on yesterday's episode because it was boring as hell. I watched it back while editing and I thought, well, this nearly sent me to sleep, so God knows what it's going to do to you guys. But I released it anyway because, you know, content, and uh, you guys were supportive enough, so I appreciate you greatly. Today though, some gameplay, and in fact, some gameplay that... Um, some gameplay that I, I don't normally do. I'm going to play live, but I'm not going to put a full live game in. I'm going to play a few games. I'm going to chop up the best bits and just put my my sort of live reactions into it. While doing so, we're going to kind of review a few players in here. So that's the team I've built. We're not going after any objectives because, incidentally, we'll go do that right now. Um, I have reached top level. We have hit level 20 and we can claim our... Player, I'm gonna take um, Bash. Well, no, I'm gonna take Perisic because a he's the more usable. It's annoying you can't even at this stage it won't let me look at them. Um, he, I think Perisic is the more usable for me. If you're a Chelsea fan, obviously you take Bash White, right? But Perisic is is slightly more usable, and I, I think the upgrade will suit him better than Bash White because Bash White doesn't really have that agility and, and his pace and, and so on and so forth. Even though can't imagine I'm ever gonna need a left mid. Because we've got Hazard and a few other players in there. But um, I'm still going to take Perisic. Do I take Perisic? Yeah, no, I do. I've got Zaha from the Premier League as a striker. So I do need to, need to sort of diversify a little bit. I've got a lot of Premier League strikers. We'll take Perisic. And as you can see, he's got some decent stats, right? So his upgrade will take his agility well into the 80s. His balance should hit 80. He's already got good acceleration sprint speed. Five-star weak foot is valuable big time uh it's just a good player i'm gonna put him on the the bench of this team actually and we'll maybe bring him on but the reason i've shown you this team is because that's the team we're gonna go and play with four one two and two as normal uh we're gonna put um Bayerbeck and moalida up front together we're gonna have dembele in behind griezmann and taliso the two center mids kante the cdm back line remains the same we're gonna take out uh, I'll take I'll take Iniesta out, even though I, uh, Iniesta Insigne I do like Insigne, big fan uh, in this game, but I will take him out and I'll pop my Perisic in there. I don't want to give him a chem style because I'm going to review him. I think. Uh, speaking of which, I'm going to take a look at these two. I'm not going to review them extensively, but I am going to take a both take a look at both of these. I've used um I've used both of them in, in a few games already, but um, we're going to take them online and we're gonna we're gonna go through it together. So my first opponent has a lone Modric, only one game left. How cruel would it be if the game disconnected or I left? Uh, I haven't seen Kondogbia all year. That's the first time I've come up against him. He's got Ava Benega in there as well. Is he going for... He's got two Barcelona players, three Barcelona, four Barcelona, five Barcelona. Surely he's not going for the um, Moy Gomez objective because he's got far too many of the same team in there. Kante, I love him. Favourite player in the game, bar none, all day, every day. What a player Kante is. Ball out to Ramos, Dembele, Bauerbeck, Moalida, Dembele, Moalida, and Tolisso. Good save from Ter Stegen. Nesta didn't let me switch back on to Nesta. He's in with Politano and he scores, and I'm not in the least bit surprised. I've absolutely battered him for the best part of 15 minutes. No joke. Uh, I'm not salty because I am tempted to drop down to Division 7 anyway because the rewards down there for, like, rank 2 are better than what I'm getting at the moment, which is just stupid. But um, I battered him for, for 15 minutes. He brings on Palatano, gets really lucky when I've won the ball back but he doesn't give him to me or he didn't give me um, Nesta or something of that nature. And, uh, and here we are. But uh, it is what it is. There's Dembele. Unfortunately, we can't quite get the shot off. 1-0 down, never mind. Nesta again in there, doesn't get the ball, comes back, still doesn't get the ball. God, that, that's fair enough, he's done me there, he deserves to score, he hasn't. Ball comes back out for Frankie de Jong. I mean, I am literally putting challenges in and not getting the ball, it's crazy. Griezmann. 
Kante, oh hello, didn't want to do that. Walker plays it into where I wanted to go initially. There is Moalida, easy save for the keeper. That'll be the last action of the half. I am going to make some subs though. Taliso needs to come off. Walker does kind of need to come off, but I'll leave him on there. Uh, I don't know if anyone else needs to come off. I mean, end of the first half, I'm, 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 I'm unluckily 1-0 down, right? But it is what it is. I don't really care about that. In terms of the subs, um, Taliso's off. Uh, I, I'm actually tempted to bring Allen on, but I kind of want to bring Modric on. I want to bring Perisic on, and I think I need Politano. So, yeah, I <laughs> don't really know what to do. I tell you what, a draw at the moment would be a very fair result, and I would definitely take it. Oh, God, that's poor. I'm playing so bad. First game of the day syndrome, I think. Ball into Politano. Here's Moalida. Hits it. Hits the post as well. Allen. Baubeck. Oh, hello. Not what I've done. Griezmann with a good ball out wide. Mendy back inside. Moalida through to Bauerbeck. Goal! There we go. I tell you what, Moalida and Bauerbeck. I'm probably saying his name wrong, but I, I like the sound of Bauerbeck. I like him. I do like them a lot. I'm, I'm about to take Moalida off, incidentally, and I'm going to bring Eden Hazard on. But both of them together have been really quick. They're snappy. Their passing is good. They, like I said, they're very, very fast. Their dribbling's good as well. His finishing has been, to be fair, I wouldn't say on point. That's the wrong word. But it's been it's been decent. It's been good enough. Oh, hello. That's a good ball. And if he hits it first time, he could have a chance. Oh, my God. This game is horrendous. Kent was uh, very unlucky, but lucky at the same time to even be in that situation. Politano drags it back. There is Baalbeck to Hazard. Oh, Griezmann with a bit of pace. Ball through. To Baubeck, left-footed this time. What a save from the goalkeeper. I was caught in two minds as to whether to play it across goal, if I'm honest. And I chose, I think, maybe the wrong option. Walker. Oh, that's terrible. Kyle Walker is absolutely abysmal. He's not playing next game. It's going to be Zhao Cancelo. Kent bursting through. Ball falls to Luka Modric. And that's a goal. The game is absolutely horrendous. Oh, what is Nesta doing? Oh, it's just so bad. It's so bad. Hazard, Baubeck, Hazard across the keeper. Hello, anytime soon. There you go. This is a 3 2. Oh, do, you know, do you know it just feels predetermined? Like, like that then. Like, I was never intended to get that ball. Yeah, of course he scored. I can't believe this. I, I, I mean, I can, but I can't. I sound like a proper bitch. But it's unbelievable how I've even remotely lost that game, let alone 4 2. I admit I'm not the best player, but that was shocking. My next opponent has, uh, oh dear, a uh, full French league team with uh, not one duplicate side. Apart from, I say full French league, he's got uh, Roussillon at uh, left back. But yeah, he's, he's obviously going to go and try and unlock that centre back. I, I mean, I would say I feel bad for him, but to be honest, he'll probably beat me because I'm absolutely terrible at this game. Here's Baalbeck. Moalida, drag back, and we have to, well, what? Little, I say 1-2, but we can't do a 1-2 that far away from each other. Oh, hello. That's not, I mean, I, he's obviously offside. It's not what I've done at all. I, I swear, my controller is wired backwards. Kante, oh, that's terrible. Iniesta, Iniesta, I keep saying Iniesta today. That's a great interception. Back of Yoko, ball just through, yep, that's it. Try and dink it back in or cut it back. There it is, and, oh, wow, he should have scored. He still should have scored, but he's offside. This game is shocking. Dembele, hello, there we go. Baalbeck, Moalida, Baalbeck, Dembele on the outside. Oh, my God, it's horrendous. Can we make this worthwhile, hello? Oh, my God, I it just, I, oh. Here we go again. Drag back and play it through. Ball lacked a little bit of pace. Baalbeck is through. Kind of has to score here. That touch was shocking, but luckily he scored. He could easily have prevented that goal from happening had he just brought the keeper out even a little bit. Just a touch, and it would have stopped um, Jean-Christophe from getting his goal. But we are 1-0 up, probably undeservedly as well. Well, I'm trying to get Mendy, and it won't give him to me, and Dembele's been chopped down. Wouldn't surprise me if my opponent just left now, to be honest. And he did. Next game, and potentially the last game, a slightly better team than what we're used to playing, to be honest. He's got uh, Delaney completely out of position, which suggests, to me at least, he's going to make a very, very quick sub. Why Bundesliga, though? Is there an objective that 
Maybe you have to score with a Bundesliga player. I don't know. But maybe that just could be his team. Who knows? Barbeck again. In on goal. Shoots. Good save from the keeper. Rebound. I tried to hit it first time with Maolida, but uh, it didn't really work out that way. Cross with Nesta. Can't get the better of him. Plays it back inside. Kante is there. Love that man. Nesta up against Gerard. Surely only one winner here. And that is, of course, Nesta. Kante's got it back. Dembele. Barbeck. Barbeck. Goal. Well, I like him. He's, he's weird, right? Because he gets a lot of the ball. And he doesn't get that many chances compared to the amount of, of the ball he gets. Maybe that's down to me. I don't know. But every shot that he has is convincing. Every time he actually gets a clean shot off and the, the keeper's forced to, to do work, he either scores or it will go out for a corner or something. Like, he's a good player. Back inside straight away here to Baalbek. Maolida through the middle. Good touch. In on goal. And what a save that is. I tried to go near post and he actually kicked it straight at him. So, I mean, to be fair, he's a left mid. I don't really know what his finishing is. But um, he's not really meant to be playing where he is. He's more, more of a, well, left-sided player. Ball up here. Little... Round the corner, he's in again. Can he score this time? No, he's hit the post. That's like the 27th time I've hit the post with Maolida, and uh, I think I think I'll take him off half time. I think I think I've 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 had enough of him. I know I know what to expect from him. He's not a prolific goal scorer as you would expect, and um, I think if you're going to play him anywhere, it kind of needs to be on the outside coming in. I'm going to bring on um, Perisic. Look at the run from Perisic, by the way. It's a good ball as well. And Perisic has got pace. He's got strength. He's got everything you realistically need to bullshit your way through. Plays it back across. And that's an absolute banger. Perisic has done so well there. And Dembele is going to run to the corner flag. And uh, and there we go. That I mean, that should be the game, theoretically. There he is. Good ball forward. I've sent Perisic. Politano with a good ball. I'm going to try to play this back inside, I think. There it is. And again. Oh, not where I wanted it. There's Griezmann. There's Barbeck. Politano. Back to... Well, I was going to say back to Barbeck. We will get there eventually. What a goal that is. And Barbeck on the score sheet yet again. He's, I think he scored in every game we've played. That is a great goal. Very well worked. Nesta just gets a foot in. Stops David Villa. And uh, doesn't stop him enough. De Gea makes a very good save. Oh, and Nesta's been penalised for a foul. Is this going to be a penalty? It is. Of course it is. Brilliant. Oh, he saved it with his shins. Well, well, well. I mean, it probably was a penalty in hindsight, but uh, I'm so glad I've saved it. Perisic through the middle, maybe. Perisic somehow works it through the middle. Goes down under a great challenge from Mbabu. Very good challenge. I tried to stop, allow Mbabu to go past and either play it to Dembele or go for goal myself. Wasn't meant to be, but we did keep a clean sheet somehow. And that, ladies and gents, brings us to the end uh, of our Road to Glory episode for today. Uh, I want to save these packs, right? So, so far for Team of the Year on Monday, which is obviously the day after tomorrow, I have six packs. I will have more. Obviously, Squad Battles is going re relatively well. We've got quite a few refreshes, four or five refreshes left on that. With games galore to play. I've still got the featured squads to play. I'm currently Elite 3. Which is a very good place to be in. Even if I end up finishing Elite 3. I think I might have slipped down now actually. No, I'm still Elite 3. So I think I'm just on the edge. Yeah, we're, we're not too far away from slipping into Gold 1. But, like I said, I've got quite a few refreshes left. I've got two very easy Legendary games. I have played that to get 1500. So I've got that to play 1500. That's nice and easy. These two are 2500 points easy each. Because they're very easy teams as you can see. Um... Bonucci, not, ben, you know, not Bonucci, Chiellini, sorry, on the right wing. Everything else is just dodgy as hell. So they, they're easy, two and a half. So that's 5K, and that's 6.5K just from those three games. And then if I can just do another four or five games on Legendary, we'll be easily hitting Elite 3. We might even be able to scrape... Uh, a, did I just see? What did I just say? We'll easily be able to hit Elite 3. We might even scrape Elite 2. It's, it tends to be a, a, a bigger threshold on PC because the player pool is a lot smaller. So it does bump up the points a lot, I think, if that's the way that it works. Like, look at, look at the State of Elite 1. That's 47,000 points. Like, it's just not going to happen. If you look at the top 100, I mean, 
that is is almost against the rules. I think 142,000 points. I think is, um, I think is something like close to 4,000 points a game, which is almost unbelievable. It's because, I th- in my opinion, the the top, however many people are unrealistic points wise, are cheating. They're using bots to get there, which is just unfortunate. But still, um, if we finish Elite Three, what was it again? A mega pack, two 25Ks and 12K coins. Elite 2 is two mega packs, a 25K pack and 15K coins. And Elite 3, uh, Elite 1, sorry, is just not achievable. But um, either one of those, I'm happy. Elite 2 would be amazing, but if we just finish Elite 3, it is what it is. Those packs get added. Uh, as I said, we've um, we've started building the packs up. A 45K pack, small gold, which isn't great. Small prime, a, a 25K pack already. Two player pack comes from the milestones. I should have a, a fair few of those to open come Monday, or at least uh, um, a couple of them, a couple more. Jumbo gold pack as well. And hopefully in the next couple of days, uh, they drop La Liga as well. And then we'll have 20, 30, 40 plus packs to open. Uh, still selling a few of these Portuguese league things off. Um, not too many left now, to be fair. Well, I'll say that, actually, like a page full of them. So maybe we'll sell a couple, maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. I'm actually right now going to go invest in some Scottish League players, Australian League, and a few things like that as well, in terms of silvers, because the, it, it's inevitable that they're going to drop some other leagues, right? I've not actually prepared today, and I probably should have done uh, earlier than what I have now, because there's only like an hour and a half left. But... I'm going to go through the Australian League. I'm just going to go through the cheaper silvers and just pick up as many of these as I possibly can so that when they drop the SBC, we can do what we did with the Dutch League. It might cost us 20k to finish it off, but it'll be an instant thing where we can finish it and we can finish it for cheap. Because if we were to wait until this came out, there'd be no silver player there for 200 coins. They'd all be four, 500 at least. So... Yeah, we'll see where we are. But that's going to do it for today. If you enjoy the live gameplay and you want to see that more often, then feel free to let me know in the comments. And, of course, by hitting the like button, and I'll do more of that. Maybe when we do it, though, I might go through some of your comments and, and questions and things as well. But uh, if you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.